You've seen a lot of uh, green trees, live plants, and the stream over on uh, my brother Roy Soy's site, where we live about, uh, let's see, two miles north of us. There used to be a stream there. And then, uh, let's see, about a little way west, west north of that, there's a dripping water. They used, we used to have dripping water right there too, Call. We used to take our sheep out there in the summer to take them all the way out to Black Mesa Pipeline. So we had water as we went along, maybe spend two days at dripping water with the sheep and then take them out to Black Mesa. There's a stream right there, right below uh, Maricopi Wash. In there, that uh, bitter water. And the water used to be bitter there. And, uh, and then we used to come up towards uh, Black Mesa and bring the sheep back up the valley. And there used to be water by the, the sagebrush right down below too. And on up the valley, all the way up to my mom's place. And then on the uh, White House area, there used to be an earth dam back in the 60s. There used to be water there after it stopped. There's no water there. There's another ditch right there that they made. I think that the mine, they were uh, surveying other places and they dug a hole there. And then we used to get water there for a long time for the animal. So those are some of the water streams. And then from, down by the White House, just a little way from the house, there used to be a uh, a ditch there. There used to be water there too. And just take the sheep right a little away from there, but there's no water down in there anymore. So it's just compared to the way the the land was. And then we didn't have too many people going through our area now that the Peabody made all these road people just throw off their trash, other things, and made a lot of roads. Back then, it wasn't like that. We didn't have too many stray dogs, too many stray animals. Everybody took care of their own animal. So it, it's way, way different. We used to pick pinions. There used to be a lot of crop. Used to pick pinions all the way up till you can't see it at night, and where you can't see yourself picking up those. That's how long we stayed up there. By the time we got home, it'll be like 11 or 12 o'clock with a 50 pound bag of pinions. Those aren't there anymore, and a lot of uh, cultural stuff for ceremonies, those are all gone. And I remember. My mom making herb all the time, towards the windmill, right? The uh, west side of uh, the White House. Traditional black and white herb that she used to, just the one plant that used to grow there. She just takes a little bit mm. and use it for ceremony. So a lot of these plants have grown, gone. And then there's um, good way herb. And then some stuff for your hair and all the wool dyes that they use. Just, just carry the back out there while you're herding sheep. You'll collect those and bring it home. And all those are gone. It's just dry. Everything is dry now. Even the sage brushes, the trees, the pine compared to way back then. You couldn't even break a pine at that time. Now you can just pull a pine and it'll just snap and it'll break. So all the water's gone. Mm. All the spring places, windmills, 
We had two windmills at this area. The west side of um, the White House, a mile back, there used to be a windmill. That's down. And then we have one right where we live on the west side of us too. And that one's down for a long time too. The windmill's still there, but there's no 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 trout or the the tank. It's all broken up. So there's no water in this area. For us, we just have to haul water every day or every other day, in other words. So we haul water about three times out of a week. So a lot of wear and tear on the vehicle. And then uh, gas-wise, they're going up gas prices. And then you have to wait for so long just out there just to, to get water. Sometimes it'll be broken. You just have to go on to the Kienta mine to get water from there. So that's about it. Mm.